Coming up on the DMC Upside, Del Mar College held registration for the 2015 spring semester. We'll take you there. The November bond election supporting Del Mar College passed with a 60% approval. We'll explain. The Del Mar College chapter of the Texas Association of Chicanos in Higher Education sponsored a toy drive. We'll tell you all about it. Movie reviews are back this month along with our regular segments, Boardwatch and Around Campus. Happy New Year! Welcome to the DMC Upside. This is our January edition. I'm Carlos Garansuay. And I'm Kira Hayes. We've got the latest news and information about Del Mar College. Del Mar College held registration for the 2015 spring semester. Classes started on January 20th, 2015. Spring semester 2015 has started as Del Mar College's January spring semester registration has come to a close. Our department, Enrollment Services, is always looking for ways to improve the registration experience for students because it can be um, a scary process or it can, you know, uh, contribute to anxiety for students. But what we try to do is make it as fluid and as easy as possible. Um, one of the big things that we do is uh, ask for volunteers from the Del Mar College community. So we have volunteers from probably about five or six different departments on campus. As as well as student volunteers who are helping to guide students to the right department, send them to the right place. So we've got probably in excess of 30 volunteers this semester to help point students in the right direction. So just a friendly face to help you get you to the next location. Students had the choice of registering on WebDMC with online express registration or at Del Mar College's East or West Campus utilizing on-campus express registration. We have a changing in our culture where we have a lot of students that are a little bit more computer savvy and so they're experienced. We have a lot of online registration going on uh, but again uh, we are community college so we're offering both aspects for students to do so. We really tried to streamline everything and make everything as fluid as possible and also not have students have to jump around so much. Our spring 2015 express registration is an opportunity for students to meet face to face with their academic advisors and actually get advised and registered all in one place. We have all of our support services that are here uh, also available for students. We have financial aid, we've got disability services, uh, registrar's office, um, we also have our attention case managers as well that are here to assist students. Del Mar College is always available to help potential students prepare and explore their future options. If a student um, kind of misses it and says, you know what, I'm going to start in the summer, my suggestion to you is get your paperwork in. Let's get you going so that when registration opens up the first month in April, you can get online, register, and get started early. To get the classes you want at the right times that you want, the best way to go about doing that is doing it early. So meet with your advisor early on, make sure you don't have any holds, and uh, and register early, and, and set up a payment plan online. So we have a really um, easy payment plan uh, online to set up, and so just do everything early. It's going to ensure you get the right classes at the right times and make the whole process easier for you. For information on enrolling for classes at Del Mar College, call 361-698-1290. We'll be right back after a short break. Dreaming of success? Make it a reality. At delmar.edu. Del Mar College. Dreams deliver. Catch the Viking spirit. Nationally recognized and locally focused, Del Mar College has been delivering dreams for over 75 years. If Del Mar College has touched your life, join the Vikings Alumni Association and help others achieve their dreams. Stay connected. Support scholarships. Explore the Viking Career Network. Join online today at delmar.edu slash alumni for as little as $10 and get a free t-shirt. Show your Viking pride. Everybody has a dream. Mine was to see the ocean. And with a little help, I made 
Go from I dream to I am at delmar.edu. Del Mar College. Dreams delivered. Welcome back. On November 4, 2014, 60% of participating voters passed a bond supporting Del Mar College. The college's capital improvement program is now possible with this $157 million bond. Del Mar College has come a long way since opening 79 years ago, thanks to a recently passed $157 million capital improvement project bond. The future looks brighter than ever. The college will spend $114 million over the next half decade on new construction and renovation projects as we phase out aging facilities and bring new ones online. At the end of the day, several Del Mar programs will be housed in state-of-the-art facilities, the Heldenfels Administration Building will be a one-stop shop for student enrollment, and the Harvin Student Center will become the vibrant hub of student life it was always meant to be. To get there, several antiquated buildings will have to be removed, while others will undergo extensive renovations. An inclusive feedback process of programming meetings will precede each phase of renovation and construction. Departments will provide input about facility designs that best meet their needs, and the college will consult with them about how any temporary relocations can be executed in the least disruptive manner possible. Well, I feel when the community voted that it gave us sort of a vote of confidence to carry forth with the, the mission of Del Mar College, which will ultimately serve our students. I'm really excited for our students. I'm excited for our campus and for our faculty all around and the opportunity to have new classrooms and new learning environments and all of the great learning opportunities that that money will bring. Every single person in this community has been touched by Del Mar College and they recognize the value that, that their family members have received from this college. I think when they took the time to think about uh, how Del Mar has been part of their lives for so many years, they want to support Del Mar and in support education. You know, it's great that Del Mar College was able to appeal to the public and have a positive response. This bond issue is something that we've been working on for a number of years. It really is important for us to meet the needs of the college for the next, uh, not just four or five years, but probably 10 years. After Del Mar completes all major construction, the college will implement landscaping plans with trees planted along its perimeters and across college grounds on both campuses. The Capital Improvement Program will serve the college's dream of providing its faculty with the facilities and resources needed to impact our student success in the near future and throughout the 21st century. We don't want to create the classroom of today. We want to create the classroom of the future. I think Del Mar College is just going to continue to grow. We're going to change, I think, in developing the workforce of the 21st century in all programs. For more information on the Del Mar College Capital Improvement Program, go online to www.delmar.edu slash CIP. The Del Mar College Board of Regents hold meetings on the second Tuesday of each month. These nine elected officials create the policies and procedures for the college. On January 13, 2015, the Del Mar College Board of Regents convened for the regular meeting. Under recognitions, staff member Jerry Henry, Director of Human Resources for Del Mar College, was recognized for receiving a special certification. It's my pleasure to recognize Jerry today for achieving certification as a Senior Professional in Human Resources through the Human Resources Certification Institution. The Institute is a global leader in developing rigorous exams to demonstrate mastery and real-world applications of forward-thinking human resources um, in practices, policies, and principles. Jerry joins more than 130,000 human resources professionals in over 100 countries that hold this professional distinction. But even though he's a relative newcomer to the community, he was also just elected as the 2015 president for the Coastal Bend Society of Human Resources Management. In fact, he, di he directed a uh, uh, workshop for new employees back in the fall, and he was actually sitting on both sides of the desk because he was directing it, and he was also one of the new employees. The, the uh, Coastal Bend Society for Human Resources Management is committed to 
taking a leadership role in providing information programs and services that support members' personal and professional development. So, Jerry, we really appreciate all that you're doing to bring good, good works to Del Mar College. Thank, Thank you. you. Congratulations. A recognition for his service and a farewell was given to Dr. Fernando Figueroa, Provost and Vice President of Instruction and Student Services. It's kind of a bittersweet moment for uh, this announcement. As we all know, uh, Dr. Figueroa is moving on uh, to another college after five years of service to Del Mar College. And I wanted to publicly thank him for his five years of, of uh, steadfast dedication, uh, first and foremost, to our students and faculty uh, as chief academic and uh, eventually student affairs officer as well. Five years, wow. Uh, we've been through a lot. And I just want to say for, the, for this board, uh, I want to say thank you for the, on behalf of the executive team and the college for your um, participation and engagement and leadership with the vision of this college and working with this executive team. The great things have happened. Greater things are ahead. This community needs Del Mar College. And fortunately, Del Mar College is more than up to the task. And so my friend, my president, thank you for everything you've done for me. And uh, I will hope to uh, make you proud in Dallas and beyond. Thank you. Thank you for that. You can watch the entire Del Mar College Board of Regents meeting on digital cable channel 19 in Corpus Christi every Friday at 2 p.m. and Saturday at 7 p.m. You can also watch it online at bit.ly slash DMC Regents. It's time for a break, but movie reviews are next. Don't go away. Don't just dream it. Do it. At delmar.edu. Delmar College. Dreams delivered. Social media is bringing us closer together every day. The CCRTA invites you to stay in touch through any and all of our many pages. Follow us on Facebook for up-to-date news about the city and other issues in public transit. Stay up to date on rider alerts through Twitter. Find route information, maps, and more on our website at ccrta.org. View videos or take our downtown virtual tour on our YouTube page. Or email us with any questions or concerns. Be connected to the Corpus Christi Regional Transportation Authority. Plan your next event at Del Mar College's Richardson Performance Hall. Our facility accommodates conferences, concerts, religious events, and private parties. We have three lounges, balcony elevators, and a convenient drive-up drop-off. For productions, Richardson Performance Hall has more than 1,700 seats and is outfitted with staging, rigging, lighting, and sound capabilities, plus many patron and performer amenities. Book your next event at Richardson Performance Hall. We create dreams, one event at a time. For more information, call 361-698-2228. Welcome to Movie Reviews on the DMC Upside. I'm Robert Bettis, and our guest reviewer today is Paul Gonzalez, editor of South Texas Scene Magazine. Thanks for inviting me. Um, our first film is The Interview. In this action comedy, Dave Skylark, played by James Franco, and his producer Aaron Rapoport, played by Seth Rogen, run the popular celebrity tabloid TV show Skylark Tonight and discover that the North Korean dictator Kim Jong-un is a fan of the show. They land an interview with him in an attempt to legitimize themselves as journalists, but things change when the CIA recruits them to assassinate the dictator instead. The interview is directed by Seth Rogen and Evan Goldberg and is rated R. The one thing that I really liked about the interview was the fact that it's kind of this, this strange like social experiment that um, with, all, with all the Sony hacks and North Korea getting so upset over it, uh, it kind of it kind of changed the way that we're going to end up releasing movies, I believe, in the future. And the fact that it's a, it's a James Franco and Seth Rogen movie, uh, it makes it all that much weird, you know, uh, that much more weird. Um, I agree. I, I think that it, uh, th there's uh, conspiracy theories out there if, uh, if it was a setup or if it, if it was a hack. But uh, for the most part, the movie itself, you know, I thought um, entertaining, you know, it's not going to win all these awards or anything but like that uh, but if for a comedy and um, very much in the same vein of this is the end uh, seeing these guys kind of doing what they do best I, I gave the film a B I give the film a B minus an American Sniper 
U.S. Navy SEAL sniper Chris Kyle, played by Bradley Cooper, is sent to Iraq with only one mission, to protect his brothers in arms. His pinpoint accuracy saves countless lives on the battlefield, and as his story of courageous exploits spreads, he earns the nickname Legend. But upon returning home, Chris finds that the war is something he can't leave behind. American Sniper is directed by Clint Eastwood and is rated R. Clint Eastwood and Bradley Cooper, this combination is an amazing uh, to see with the subject matter. It shakes, shakes you up a little bit to be in that sniper nest, sniper's nest with Bradley Cooper. Uh, you get the insight of what it takes and uh, the horror that the, of the decisions that have to be made. This film is an excellent film. I gave it an A. Uh, the thing that I really liked about the movie was the way that Clint Eastwood directed it, where he kind of just puts the camera right next to these soldiers and right next to Bradley Cooper's character, and nothing is forced on you. It's a really weird way to shoot a war movie, but it makes it really intimate, and especially when he's at home, if you feel like you're in the corner of the room watching him try to deal with coming back to his family, and uh, I thought that that was really interesting. Um, I give the film an A also. In Foxcatcher, Olympic gold medal winning wrestler Mark Schultz, played by Channing Tatum, sees a way out from the shadow of his wrestling brother Dave, played by Mark Ruffalo, in a life of poverty when he is summoned by eccentric multi-millionaire John DuPont, played by Steve Carell, to move and train for the 1988 Seoul Olympics on his estate. DuPont begins coaching a world-class athletic team and lures Mark into dangerous habits. Based on actual events, Foxcatcher is a profoundly American story of men who pin their hopes for love and redemption on a desperate obsession for greatness that was to end in tragedy. Foxcatcher is directed by Bennett Miller and is rated R. Now everybody's talking about Steve Carell in this movie and he's great in the movie, he really is, but from the first frame of the movie when you see Channing Tatum pop up on screen he, he you, he's basically unrecognizable just and he he's he doesn't have prosthetics on or anything he's just this hulking wrestler who seems kind of like kind of kind of dumb you know he seems like this big oaf and throughout the entire movie um he just he disappears in the role and it's just a weird thing to see Channing Tatum actually be a great actor. Um, the the entire cast is great. I give it an A. Um, I agree. The, you get lost in this movie. You you forget that you're seeing these actors. Even Mark Ruffalo. Mm -hmm. I mean, he you know he's got the the balding spot on his head, <laughs> and you got the the prosthetics you know on Steve Carell. But uh, th they've managed to to craft this film where you get lost in the moments as the characters come together, and and it does get very dark in this film. I gave the film also an A. The film Whiplash tells the story of Andrew Neiman, played by Miles Teller, as the ambitious young jazz drummer, single-minded in his pursuit to the rise to the top of his elite East Coast music conservatory. Andrew hungers day and night to become one of the greats, but soon Andrew's passion to achieve perfection quickly spirals into obsession as his ruthless teacher Terence Fletcher played by J.K. Simmons continues to push him to the brink of both of, of his ability and his sanity. Whiplash is directed by Damon Chazelle and is rated R. From the first beat of the drum you get taken away into this crazy world of of this music conservatory and, and this young man Overall, the performance of J.K. Simmons is something that is just totally incredible to watch in this film. I gave it an A. The strange thing about this movie is it's a small, it's a, it's a, a small film. You know, you have a couple of actors, um, and just the way that J.K. Simmons rises above everybody in this huge, um, this huge persona that he has, and uh, he just he just controls the movie, and he turned in a great performance. I also, yet again, give the movie an A. That's it for movie reviews, but don't go away. There's more of the DMC Upside coming up. Turn what if into why not at delmar.edu. Del Mar College. Dreams delivered.
Separate raw meats from other foods by using different cutting boards. 3,000 Americans will die from food poisoning this year. Keep your family safer. Check your steps at foodsafety.gov. On this month's Around Campus, we asked students what their expectations were for the new semester. This is what they told us. Uh, my expectations for the spring semester are uh, to have a new experience, uh, having never been in a traditional school setting before, you know, I've always been homeschooled. So, yeah, I'm definitely looking forward to it. Uh, my expectation for this coming year is to try to find that success through my uh, courses that I have left. i got four courses left for graduation this May. So I expect to try to have smooth sailing and uh, dedicate myself to these courses so that I'm able to finally find the success that I've been waiting for, which is my two associate's degrees. One in liberal arts and one in uh, applied arts and psychology. My expectations for uh, this academic year would be to just basically pass all my ca uh, classes. Um, I want to actually uh, you know, get the best grades that I can um, for the program I'm going for. Uh, I'm going to need those. So basically just have overall a good, fun year. You know, try not to get too stressed, just be able to uh, do my best and do what I want to get done. My expectations for this year are to continue with my aviation program and continue passing my grades. Finish my credit hours to move forward to the next semester and make it a good semester here at Del Mar. My expectations as a student this semester are going to be to uh, live to serve others. Uh, I'm actually going to be a tutor. Uh, for the first time this semester, so I'm going to be focusing on helping other students in their fields of study. The Del Mar College chapter of the Texas Association of Chicanos in Higher Education held a toy drive. On December 16, 2014, these toys were donated to the children at the Early Head Start Center, Kids of the Neighborhood. Throughout the month of November, members of the Del Mar College chapter of the Texas Association of Chicanos in Higher Education were busy loading up their sleigh full of toys and goodies for the children at Kids of the Neighborhood Head Start Center. This year we decided to do a holiday toy drive and we wanted to uh, adopt a, a local child care center. Kids of the Neighborhood is a perfect fit for us because it's just four or five blocks away from the East Campus. This Tache toy drive is one of the ways that the organization gives back to the community. In one of our monthly meetings, we did, as a group, decide that we wanted to adopt a local child care center. And one of our members, Mary Jane Tejeda, she's our secretary and a student at Del Mar College, uh, has a child that attends here at Kids of the Neighborhood Head Start. And so we thought that that would be an ideal fit. It just so happens that I'm the secretary for DACHE, the, the DACHE uh, chapter at Del Mar, and being a policy council member for Kids in the Neighborhood, I just saw an opportunity to go ahead and um, see if DACHE can be of assistance and, you know, help with some donations. So I've, I've talked to some other parents and there's been some stories about, you know, instances where some children, they don't get a Christmas present, and so I thought that this is just a wonderful, you know, opportunity to make something happen, make something special for the kids and everybody coming together. Founded in 1974 and chartered as a nonprofit educational organization, DACHA supports student scholarships as its primary goal. DACHA is committed to um, helping out in the community and being seen in the community, uh, but our mission is, is really twofold. We are committed to student success, and so we do provide scholarships throughout the year to our Del Mar students. One of the things about Thatche is it, it's a really great organization because it's made up of not only staff and faculty, but we really do encourage students to join us and other community members. For information on the Del Mar College chapter of the Texas Association of Chicanos in Higher Education, go online to www.delmar.edu slash Gotcha. That concludes this edition of the DMC Upside. The DMC Upside is on digital cable channel 19 in Corpus Christi every Sunday, Wednesday, and Friday at 7 p.m. You can also find us online at youtube.com slash Delmar College. The DMC Upside returns in February with an all-new show. We hope you'll join us. Until then, I'm Carlos Garamsuay. And I'm Kira Hayes. Thanks for watching.